all right everybody welcome back to the channel and the first update to the game of 2024 for many of you this patch will already be live um, but we're going to go ahead and go over the patch notes anyway and just kind of get a feel for uh, what's going on here so first of all most exciting news they've added a new hero um aaron is the name the laurel princess Aaron, exploring the unknown world alone, coincidentally encountered the forest idol Aya. With Aya's enthusiastic help, they became friends. While traveling together, they accidentally approached a crack in the abyss of Aphata. Slayer, affected by the strange powers of anomalies, instantly went out of control. Through their joint efforts, they calmed down this disaster. This also made Aaron realize that her own power might be connected to it. Therefore, the two of them began to investigate the anomalies. I'm not going to do much more um, about Aaron. You can kind of see some of the things. And I'm going to actually make a full video on Aaron in the next couple of days. Um, so stay tuned for that. But it kind of looks like there may be some synergy with Aya um, when it comes to using Aaron. So let's pay attention to that as she gets added to the game. And we read all the details of, of her um, passives and skill one skill two um, one thing that i did note um, that i will note is that it kind of looks like you can do a full ap or a full ad build um, and it kind of depends on how the crit works and that sort of thing but you can use um, attack damage or uh, magic damage um, for this new marksman so that'll be interesting to see how she works the next exciting thing is battlefield adjustments it looks like they are uh, making some changes to um, tower positions and brush and walls and that sort of thing. It's interesting. One of the viewers on my live stream tonight mentioned that they had made the nerf to jungle invasions before the four minute mark. And that wasn't quite good enough. It looks like the jungle is still vulnerable. So they're making these adjustments here. We can see that they are bringing the towers a little closer to um, the jungle and a little further forward. I don't know if you noticed, but you can actually sneak around the enemy tower. Uh, you can kind of dive behind it and then come back around without getting damaged. So they've, they're going to bring those towers forward a little bit um, and adjust the brush to... Um, they're kind of going to extend the brush a little bit so that it can have a little bit more play. You can see that uh, it's about another block or another meter of uh, hiding spots, hiding uh, places in the brush. So that's interesting. So they're moving the, the outermost towers and they're um, messing with the brush a little bit so that it can actually defend. Um, you can actually defend your your jungle just a little bit better another thing here that they're doing um, it looks like I'm kind of skipping a little bit they're actually bringing the middle towers up a little bit too I don't know if you've you've uh, thought of this as well but I thought um, the outer tower and the mid tower seem very far apart and then the mid tower and the high ground tower are are pretty close together actually um, so they're actually bringing that mid tower closer to the outer tower and a little further to the center so that we can, um, be able to defend, you can see this, they can actually defend the, um, jungle a little bit better. And the other thing that they're doing, let's see, do I have a vid, uh, image of that? Yep. Right here. They are moving this tower and this brush in the center outermost tower they're moving that a little bit so that the tower can actually attack enemies hiding in that brush so that's going to be a lot more um risk to getting into the into the jungle of the enemy and the towers are going to do a lot more um, a lot more for defending the jungle the other thing is, um, and I noticed this myself, this blue buff area is very congested, so they've widened that a little bit, so it doesn't feel quite so tight kind of getting in and out of that area. 
see right here the wall near the middle lane and the blue buff has been reduced in size and then the brush has been moved so that's uh, all very interesting they're kind of they're trying to prolong this game a little bit and uh, you know that way when you lose those outermost towers you don't also lose every bit of your jungle because as of right now that's the way it is you lose those outer, outer towers and you might as well forget getting your buffs anymore so good changes there the defensive tower mechanisms um, they're changing that just a little bit as well let's see do i have a slide for that yep so now when the first tower gets destroyed creeps that are under that tower are slowed by 30 percent for five seconds when the second tower gets destroyed creeps under that are slowed by 60 percent for five seconds and so that's i've always felt this way whenever you destroy that second tower you're eager to get onto the high ground tower but those minions seem like they just are crawling and i didn't really realize that they're actually getting debuffed um, they're getting um a little bit of cc from the tower when it's destroyed that's why the second wave coming behind it doesn't have that slow problem so now that second tower is going to be a 60 percent slow for five seconds and then the high ground tower it's going to be a 90 percent slow for five seconds so any minions under the high ground tower are pretty much going to stand still for five seconds um, when that tower is destroyed so again those are mechanisms and it says that they've received players or feedback from many players maintaining uh, excuse me that maintaining a lead by keeping all towers intact throughout the game may result in a sudden reversal of fortunes due to a single mistake in the late game losing three towers in one go can lead to defeat so let's say you have you're just stomping the enemy and you have all your towers up you get a little over eager get under their tower maybe get under their base trying to do this last push and they do a team wipe well if in the late game you're down for 30 40 seconds right um so in the old way that 30 to 40 seconds is a lifetime and people were pushing all the way up into um into the base and winning and so this tower defense this slow for the minions is a trying to correct um, that late game mistake. So I don't know, it could be considered a skill issue to, to push when you shouldn't be pushing, but that's what they're doing. So we'll have to see how it goes with the games we're playing. Now here's another interesting uh, a change that they're doing to the walls. Um, there's several heroes and uh, I don't play half of these people, but I do play Violet and I've noticed that she can't roll through several walls that really, it would be great if she could roll through them kind of as an escape or um, even a chase. But um, they've adjusted the thickness of several walls. They've got a video out there where um, the wall in the center where the um, red buff minion camp is, you can actually roll through that now. Um, you can roll through the side wall, um, well, in several places. So wherever you'd hit a wall before, and like on the uh, blue buff side, if you're doing the Slayer lane, you couldn't roll through that wall, you can now. So that's a good change. Kind of makes a little more mobility for Zephy's Violet, Ryoma, Tulin, Wukong, Astrid, Elendor, Thorn, Sinestria, Hayate, Liliana, and Irie. Now there's a, a, just an optimization of movement indicators. There's doesn't appear to be any real change, but Sinestria, Thane, Kane, um, and Elendor seems to, the, the uh, arrow for their movement didn't seem to align up with their movement. So they've adjusted that visual indicator. They did not change anything there as far as the actual function goes. And then uh, AOV, new year, new atmosphere. There is, um, going to be some Lunar New Year changes coming and one of them is it looks like we've noticed that challengers are eager for more adjustments to the mechanics of older heroes. We're actively preparing for this so stay tuned for Xanus mechanism revamp before the Lunar New Year and so it kind of looks like they're reworking some of the old heroes that don't get much love these days um, and I know I saw uh, my previous video actually did a little 
preview of this. Uh, it looks like Xanus's passive is getting completely reworked and a few other things. So um, stay tuned for that as well. New year, new environment, combating malicious behavior. This is something we've all been looking forward to. I actually played a game earlier tonight where the Alice was map hacking, couldn't uh, hide or recall or do anything. Um, she just kept finding you. And so they're introducing some new tools that will, uh, we will not tolerate such behavior. So new tools that strict penalties for users who use malicious programs or disrupt the battlefield atmosphere. Something we've been looking forward to for a really long time. So we're going to see how that works out in the future. They'll continue to optimize these detection systems. And then the battlefield is actually getting some Lunar New Year decorations. So that's going to be super exciting. Uh, it even says that um, Arena of Valor will not only provide the traditional Lunar New Year themed battlefield, but also introduce many unique in-game and out-of-game experiences. This is going to be interesting because this is actually a Garena um, patch notes. I've never known the Garena patch notes to not also be mimicked in the Level Infinite Global version. But this is going to be interesting to see if we get... Uh, uh, unique in-game and out-of-game experiences. Uh, it'd be nice to get the shops back. Um, one of my viewers mentioned getting rid of Bonnie on the loading screen. Uh, so it, it'll be interesting to see um, if we get some of these decorations that they're mentioning there. Now the next thing are buffs and nerfs. It looks like six heroes are getting buffed and Zip is getting a little bit of a nerf. It's not a big one. Um, Hayate the Ghost Walker is being buffed. You can see here his cooldowns are uh, getting fixed at six seconds and the energy consumption getting fixed at 90 seconds uh, or 90. So it's going to be a um, faster cooldown, less energy needed. Errol is getting buffed. Uh, movement speed and cooldowns are being uh, improved. Wiro. Um, he is getting a cooldown uh, reduction and uh, a slow down, self slow down reduction as well. Well, cooldown increase. Um, Ming is getting buffed. So, whenever he's linked to a hero, it's going to increase their attack damage, increase their magic power, but it also subsequently is going to improve Ming's attributes while he's being uh, um, linked up and then the defense is being improved as well so all those things are good news for me crashed is getting buffed looks like uh, some damage increases and shielding increases for his skill one and skill two rui is getting buffed skill one holy light is getting some damage increases second damage also getting increases and then zips nerf is a little one uh, the cooldown refund when inhale, inhalation is terminated early is going from 50 to 30%. So um, his cooldown, if you cancel his inhalation, will be a little bit longer, but it's a pretty low cooldown anyway. That shouldn't be too bad. Now, something that I don't normally go over are the bug fixes, but I'm going to hit a couple of them here that are pretty interesting. Um, I don't do the bug fixes that often because normally I, I haven't noticed them most of the time or they're kind of specific. But um, one interesting one here is that the bug caused the buff obtained from the infinite slayer to attack invisible units. And that's not quite worded right, I don't think. Um, the infinite slayer has an AOE uh, buff that it adds to... Um, the team whenever the infinite slayer is is got um is taken and that aoe damage um it is what it is right you get in into the range of a hero and it and it, it gives them damage but heroes like kane elsu and sinestria well because they're invisible and trying to you know be sneaky they're hiding in the bushes or whatever um it their aoe damage would actually reveal them um, it would attack a, a, an enemy and reveal where they were before they were ready to engage in the team fight or do whatever they needed to do. So it kind of looks like they have um, changed that to where the uh, Infinite Slayer AoE 
um, damage buff does not activate while heroes are invisible. So that's pretty interesting, I thought. Um, there was a bug that allowed enemies to see Maraud's first skill shadow without vision. So, um, so you could kind of roam around the map and see the little gold statue of where he came from, even if you weren't close or in within vision of it. And that is that is no longer a thing anymore. You'll have to be near it to see it. A bug that occasionally caused Chognar's first skill to cast in the wrong direction. Fixed a bug that allowed creeps to pass through towers. Fixed a bug that caused ranged heroes only to trigger burn damage once after killing the might golem. And a bug that prevented Ming from receiving assists when attached for allied units for too long. So that all, you know, those things are all little minor things um, that maybe we didn't notice. Uh, if you're a Kane, Elsu, or Sinestria main, you may have noticed this number eight one. But um, that is it that's pretty interesting stuff for the patch for the january 24th 2024 patch and we're excited to to get it um you know get the server back online and try out some of this stuff uh like i said i will be putting out a full video on aaron here in the next few days um just to kind of showcase some of her moves for those of you who uh, aren't planning on buying her or um uh, don't have the gold to do it or maybe you're not a uh, marksman main um, so you can kind of see some of some of her movements and abilities and uh, go from there so stay tuned to the channel and if you like this kind of content please uh, please do um, like and subscribe the video as well and because I'm going to be keeping track of all the updates all throughout 2024 and bringing them to you right here on the channel so hit the notification bell for more uh, content, and uh, I will see you on the battlefield.